But maybe Kjellner and Prince still comforted on that stage. Kjellner's just really starting strong with amazing pressure on Chudad. So it's definitely key that Kjellner gets to play the, the IC's matchup. Yes. He's so good at it. But I think so is Prince. And Nana is gone. So far looking good for Prince and uh, Kjellner. Amazing there. Oh, what an angle! And Achuda <laughs> trying to decide which target to pick. And they get the right one. What was that? Questionable up B, but he, he still lives because he has got those angles. And maybe this is a different caliber of player that is not going to fall for the counter. Shudet sitting at 150%, but still gets a stock from Prince with the down smash. Three stocks apiece. Oh, no bubble. I like how disruptive those down smashes are by Kana. What a rest, and the down air saves him. Another one. It really goes to show uh, how many of those he's been hitting. Did you see how stale that already was? <laughs> the rest are nice. Wow. That shine into down smash. Wow, the pressure. Nice interruption there by Prince. Kellner is like a brick wall right now for Trudad. Again, nice interruption by, by Prince. Well, this is dangerous for Chud. He comes the shield back. ever so okay. tiny. But he holds on to it. Up air is going Up to be air is going to kill it, yes. This is looking quite good for a green team, actually. Yeah. But as I say, oh no, he's living. But. Oh, oh. He barely misspaces it. There we go. But Ice could die any second. Was that supposed to be a bait? I don't know. I'm not sure, I don't think so. And the Nair's going. Maybe he was expecting no. a roll. Amazing DI by Ice. Wow, doesn't matter. One stock apiece in the first game. Double spot dodge, two down smash. And Chu's dead. It's only ice left. No jab reset, no. Can't get the grabby ones. This is definitely still doable for ice. Yes, both at the very high percent. Like an up smash on Jigglypuff would put it in an even situation. And this is going to be it. Game one goes to Team Lörrach. This is the first game uh, Chudet and I has actually dropped this tournament. So I think we've established one thing after this game. It is possible to beat these two. Yes. And they're going back to an FDE. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I can see why. There were some unfortunate SDs in this game. Amazing. Crush cancel sunshine. And this is going to be it for Nana. I feel like whenever Chu gets a hit, there's there's a hit traded back by Kerna. It's oh. kind of something I need to find a workaround for. Another one of those down smashes connects. I feel like Kerna's really good at positioning himself before he goes for the down smash, so he's usually in between his two enemies. Like he was just there. No, Prince has got to find a way to keep himself safe until Kellner arrives. And he does. What better place to be safe than the ledge? The ever so famous ledge. Nice fair by Kellner. Can he actually get that edge cut? He cannot. Oh, he went a bit too far. Yes, and he, 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 he wanted to get the net. He pays the price. No, but. Oh! 
Prince is there. Prince is always there. They are so good with those saves. Oh, this is Pal, so it's not going to kill. The good thing is, Prince can always try to go for these saves because nobody's going to have the balls to follow him that deep. Yes, exactly. But I think if one player has the balls to do it, it could be Ice. Maybe, yeah. Then again, I, I feel like he, he just respects Jigglypuff as an opponent so much. Yeah, After having it. quite a few unfortunate experiences against it. Amazing combo. Almost killed. Blue team sitting at a nice lead right now. Oh no! Kellner actually hitting Prince there. I mean, as long as he doesn't kill him, it's kind of fine because Jigglypuff. I mean, getting it to kill percentage is a problem, but it is already at kill percentage. So at this point, weak hits don't really matter. That's a rest on Popo, no less, and Kellner saves him. Amazing, amazing footage here of the two of them working together. If they can get one more rest change it, the whole game around. Up the down smash. This is rough. A, li a little few resources now for Team Green. Like they've got that one juicy stock on, All right. on Prince. And that's the only thing they got. Yeah. But rest, rest is definitely out of the picture because Chulat can punish him but with a bubble. But it doesn't even matter, he gets ice! Ooh! Ooh. Oh, that saved him. That saved he him! He had his back turned against the edge. Uh, what? Bubble. No. No, no bubble. What, what a nice aerial drift. But the up smash is yeah, going to Yeah, he was shocking it. for it. And successfully so. One game apiece. We've got a set. But even this one, it was closer than any of the winner's bracket matches we saw against uh, Chudat and Ice. This is true. So I feel like if, if anyone's going to take them down, it's these two that we're seeing right now. And uh, they've got the counter pick advantage. So let's see what they come up with. Well, Dreamland, Dream yeah. Chudat has no fear uh, with going in with fair. Oh, the wow, Ice, the ice train. Auto cancel back air, strong tool for Ice Climbers. And he misses the rest. Uh, unfortunate there. If, if he would have gotten the forward throw first, maybe there would have been a better chance of getting an edge guard situation. Ice's recovery is yeah. something else. Like he always e every back. step of his recovery as well. Like first of all, his angles are fantastic. The way he positions himself for Firefox is to sort of sneak past any any potential edge guards. And then if you do get a hit on him, he usually tags those at least five times on the edge. So he really makes you work for those stocks. Three stocks apiece. <laughs> and as I say that, Kellen loses another. Oh, which which wait spot to pull a turnip from? Oh, the double S smash into up smash by Fox. Really nice punish on that rest. And that was should the one be thing. a dead shoe. It is. Like those punishes on the rest, on the missed rest, was the one thing I talked about earlier. And they really seem to make it work. Oh, 
Oh, oh no, he rests that is teammate. definitely not the target he wanted, and forward smash is going to kill him. Kenna's going to wait on the respawn platform. Just... Oh, he blocks the ice block. Really nice. Dead Nana. That happens fast against Peach. That is that is not unusual by any means. Oh, if, if Prince can get this stock... Kenna is getting some nice percentages on ice as well. Can they get the edge guard? They cannot. I just live in. Nice yeah, throw. Both coming back, but Chew dead. Getting hit by the down smash. Oh, charge F smash, uh, up smash. Team Blue in a really tight spot now. Ice coming back again. Ah, uh, almost, oh. almost. Just, just barely doesn't help him. I like the idea, though. Yeah, definitely. Like they had to try something because now they are in a in a really tricky spot, actually. Oh, you see what it was going for, right? Yes. Short up rest without any setup whatsoever. That would have been the game changer. And and it almost worked. Team Green needs one more rest, and this is more than doable. I feel like at this point they don't necessarily need to force the rest. Although it would definitely be helpful. Like now, no, they're in a disadvantage. He's waiting for the roll, but Chu just isn't giving it to him. Oh, I, I was expecting green. a grab there, yeah. Yes. They focus on Nana too much, I think. This cost him the stock. It's only Prince left. Come on, Prince, double rest. Get him, boy. Yeah, they don't no, this is tricky. have any reason to approach him right now. And Prince you, you can sense the respect they're giving him, you know? Yes. But there's not really anything Prince can do right now. He eats the lasers, getting percentages. And if they don't approach, he doesn't have a tool to get in, right? And that's it. Yeah. No smash the eye on that up air, uh, up air either. Good setup. 2 1. Can our losers team still make the comeback? Or is this going to be the last game of the doubles tournament? So I do not expect them to, to switch anything around with the stage. No, I don't think so. But um, sometimes they still want to take their time to discuss some, some details about how they want to play this. And that's the kind of thing I love about doubles. Yeah. Oh, Prince is very deep. Oh, that double down smash, that puts up so much percentage. Nana already dead again. I don't feel that Nana made an impact whatsoever on this set. Because she dies so quickly, and if she's there, Judith really doesn't give any attention to her. Oh, actually, killing Chu. Yeah, that happens. Oh, that was a stitch. It was? Yes. I didn't see it, no. Oh, that's a dead Kellner because of. Not optimal DI, I want to say. Good grab. Does manage to set up for the uh, back air edge guard. Near onto ice, but he comes back. I think if green team would have would edge guard ice more. Ooh, good job there by green team. Getting the lead back. I kind of don't want to call it a lead because of the percentage, you know, it's... Stock lead. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. What do we have here? A forward smash waiting for Kelna. I think Chu wasn't expecting Prince to, to, to go walk, got, get up stage quite as aggressively as he did. But they kind of pushed into that corner. They yeah. spent the last minute or so in that corner. 
They didn't really have the percentages to try anything fancy to get yeah, out of there. Yeah, that's true. But Nana should be dead now. But I, I like how Team Blue sort of has accepted that every now and then Nana is just gonna die, and they they don't overcommit trying to dash save dash her. Oh, that's that's big actually. Nice save by Things. Doesn't matter. Fair into into it. Oh, yes, these. But at, at the very least for Team Green, this was at 140 percent. So take a fresh stock. Blizzard clips ice. No pun intended. Oh, he misses Mystery. the rest, and this is definitely a forward smash. Just for the percentage, though. And that's still doable for Team Green. They just have to work really hard and don't get hit by any combos whatsoever. Like that. Oh, finally got they they got two where they wanted to, but um, he makes it back anyway. Oh, the backer actually kills. Oh man, Abe is going to. It's not going to be enough. Amazing job! Wow, that, that, that is it. actually amazing. I would have never never thought he might survive this. I was sitting on two stocks, and Kelna. On 155 percent. This will do the trick. Yes, this is all or nothing, guys. If they don't win this, that's it. They are all at second place, which is still a strong showing given yes. how early they were sent into losers. But Ooh. anyway, nice. we still got a match going. Kelda has no fear going in with 165 percent. He needs to at this point. Yes. Wow. He. He's the moment so he loses pressure. pressure, he loses the game and. This might pay off, but no! No, this is Prince and Stock! Now with Prince dead, I don't see him take this. No, but... Um, I'm sorry to say this. Anything can happen, right? Oh, this spacing was amazing. And this but is so going this to one. be it. Ice and Chu taking the tournament. With only dropping one game the entire tournament. So congratulations to Ice and Chu Dot. Dropping only one game throughout the whole tournament. But please, give Prince and Kellner some love as well. For that amazing loser's run. For an amazing yeah. loser's run, finishing second place here at Respawn 6 in Mainz, Germany.